Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new FIFA 19 career mode here today on the channel. We're going to be playing as Wolverhampton Wanderers on Ultimate Difficulty. So guys, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Let me know in the comment section down below players you would like me to sign and series objectives. Here today, we're playing as Wolverhampton Wanderers. They have had an amazing Premier League season, so hopefully we can push on and build upon their success. They finished 7th in the Premier League this season and, and have qualified for European football. So, in today's episode, we have two matches, the first of which is against Everton, and then we face Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. So, hopefully, I can replicate, replicate and build upon Nuno Espirito Santo's management and continue to push on. We're also going to try and target Portuguese players and also George Mendes's sort of clients. As you will. So the first signing of this Wolverhampton Wanderers career mode is Timo Werner from Germany, from Red Bull Leipzig. I've also made the decision to sign Wilfred Zaha. So we've managed to sign two quality top-notch forwards there in Zaha and Timo Werner. Very quick lightning pass, obviously Timo Werner playing for Red Bull Leipzig. He's going to have quality first team football here. We've got a spearhead of our squad and we'll have Zaha on the left hand side creating. I've also made the decision to go out and sign Renato Sanchez. 20 years of age, 75 overall. He's a really solid career mode player and especially for 11 million pounds. He's had a very difficult career. He was so amazing in the Euros. He sort of fizzled out when he signed for Bayern. Didn't have have a very good season when he was here with Swansea, but hopefully we can get him under our ring, a wing, and uh, he can push on and be a quality midfield player. I've also made the decision to sign a brand new right back. I was umming and ahhing whether or not to sign a couple of players in the Premier League, but I've made the decision to sign Alex and uh, Arnold. Now there's a crazy stat about um, Alexander-Arnold. Now, he has more Premier League assists this season than Jesse Lingard has had his entire career. How much of a crazy stat is that? So he's going to be my attacking, overlapping fullback this season, and hopefully... He can push up and help Jota along with Timo Werner. So this is the squad I've designed for Wolves this season. Zaha, Werner, Jota, Jamutinho, Neves, Sanchez, Alexander-Arnold. We've also got Bolly, Johnny and Patricio there. And we've also got Den Don Ecker, whatever his name is. Jimenez, Adam Costa on the bench as well. Adama is a very solid, I think he's a former Barcelona player. So there's a lot of really cool, quick, lightning fast, flary players at Wolves. So the main objective for this season is to try and win the Premier League. It is definitely doable, even on ultimate difficulty. We've got a really strong, solid back line. A defense is what really helps out the Premier League title. De Rossi has signed for Manchester City, which is crazy. Man Manchester City have been hunting for that signing for years. I remember there was a whole transfer window where Roberto Mancini was trying to lure him away. I wonder why they, he signed for them. Maybe it's because he retired in real life quite recently. I believe he got offered a higher up position in the... Uh, the Roma board, but it looks like he still says he's got a couple of good seasons left in him, so De Rossi could quite potentially go to another Serie A uh, club. So we have our first match of the season here against Everton. We've spent a whopping amount of cash, around about 70 to 80 million on our two front pairing, but let's see Everton's squad. Richarlison, Sigurdsson, Walcott, Zuma, Keane, Goulam, they've signed from Napoli, so they've actually strengthened their squad slightly. Trent Alexander-Arnold, of course, is a former Scouser now, so I'm sure he's going to be uh, keen to score against Everton here today. Sigurdsson to Richarlison. 
A nice cut in there, and it's Moutinho to pick up the first yellow card, I would think, of the Premier League. Definitely of our campaign, getting stuck right into it. Two minutes in. Oh my god, Keane. Zaha beats one, beats two, gets caught by Kennedy, but prevails. Sanchez just pushes on and gets the shot away. He's got some really good long shots in his pocket, pocket Sanchez, but he just needs to get a little bit higher rated for those to come through. Johnny, Timo Werner, Sanchez can't quite get the shot away. Jota on the right-hand side. He's more of a striker, center forward for Wolves, but I can't afford to drop him, so he's going to play on the right-hand side for now until we can get an amazing right-sided winger in the future, potentially season two, if we push on for the Champions League. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Sanchez, Moutinho, Zaha, Werner. We come on, we need to build up some play here. Moutinho! Oh, it's a good save from Pickford, diving back into goal. You've got to give it to Everton. They've really held out here today. We've restructured our midfield slightly, completely revamped the forward line. We still need some adjustments getting into. But my defence... And goalkeeper, I'm actually quite happy with. Werner, Sanchez, unselfishly finds Jota, puts it wide. Now, if you're a long-time subscriber on the channel, I believe I've done a Wolverhampton career mode before, but it was like back on FIFA 12, FIFA 13. It must have been one of my very first couple of career modes. It'd be interesting to see, to compare the two. Sanchez rattles the post there. Unbelievable scenes at Everton. Against Everton. Richarlison. At the other end. Oh my god. 66 minutes have been played. And either side can go through. Walcott in the box here now. Walcott. It's Theo Walcott. To break the deadlock between the two sides. Teeth and nail. We've both been going at it. It's 1-0 down. No, it's time to make some substitutions. I think soon. My team is exhausted. So let's bring on Jimenez for Werner. Let's bring on Costa and Adama um, as well. Johnny. Oh, well, poor ball retention. Danny Welbeck plays for Everton now. That's crazy. Jimenez. Raul. Oh, Raul Jimenez. Unbelievable scenes here. It's 1-1 at home at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Danny Welbeck puts unneedless pressure there with the head. The Everton player tries to unselfishly put it out. Jimenez manages to hunt and push past Pickford. Raul Jimenez makes it 1-1. Come on, guys. We can push for this. Raul. Adama. Push for it. Adama! Oh my god. Man, that finesse was a fucking disgrace. And he's a right footer as well. What? <laughs> I wanted to check that. I didn't know if he was a left footer or not. Oh, come on. If that was anyone else, they would have nailed that. But I forget we're sort of doing a... A rebuilding project, as it were, <laughs> at Wolves. But even though they finished seventh, I'm trying to push for first. But it's a 1-1 draw against Everton. Shameful display. No matter. Hopefully we can try and push on against uh, Manchester City. Okay, guys. Welcome to the second match of today's episode. We have a home match against Manchester City. Hopefully, we can have a better result uh, than we did against Everton in our first match. But this is going to be make or break. We need to pick up wins, no or less draws against the top five squads if we're going to push on. I would like a cup run this season as well. If we win the FA Cup or the Carabao, that would be delightful. But we'll just have to see. Let's see who Pep Guardiola is going to be fielding here today. Looks like Sergio Aguero and Timo Werner are going to be going head-to-head -head in the striker position. 
So they've got Sane and Mares he's playing, Phil Foden, but they have Bravo in goal. Oh wow, we definitely can expose that. No Edison. So they are playing a slightly weakened squad against Wolves. Stones, Mangala, Mendy, Phil Foden. So there's a couple of leaks in the midfield and defence, but Mares on the right is still very good. Werner on the counter attack finds Wilfred Zaha. Still accustoming to his new surroundings. Bombs it past Bravo. It's 1 0. Never fear. <laughs> Wilfred Zaha is here. Determined to be a talisman at his new club. It's 1 0. Just before the ninth minute there. Wilfred Zaha, the England born Ivorian international, smashes it past Bravo. 78 rated. His first goal of the Premier League. The number seven. Johnny. Zaha. Moutinho. Sanchez in space. <laughs> Fizzles right. He's getting into the right positions, but his shots are just wide. Look at that. Fizzling away there by the smallest of margins. The ball's up in the air. Comes back to Moutinho trying to find a pass to Zaha. Sanchez feeds food Timo Werner, who gets the shot at Bravo. Back to Zaha now. He cuts back into the box. Mer oh. 1 0 is the score line against Manchester City. Some nice 1 2 passing here. Sane in a dangerous area tries to dink <laughs> Patricio, but it wasn't to be. And Pep Guardiola's brought him off because of that shambles. <laughs> Maybe it was orchestrated before. We're going to bring on Adama on our right hand side. We'll bring on Jimenez as well. Played really well in the last match. If in doubt, kick it out. Manchester City have conceded a free uh, throw in, rather. At the edge of the area, Zaha can't get it past Bravo. He's played all right, Bravo, in this match, even though I was talking shit before. Zaha has been dispossessed, and it's going to be a corner kick. From the corner kick, Neves, heavily rumored to be leaving Wolves in the summer, doesn't put a very good ball in. But that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. She's all over Red Rover. We've managed to sneak a massive 1-0 victory here today against Manchester City. And that's going to massively help our top four push and potential title push. Coming to the last 10 hours of transfer deadline day. So if you want me to sign players, they're going to have to be, well, in the January transfer window now. De Rossi has joined the Premier League. Rodrigo, Fernando, Valencia... And obviously our four signings. Arsenal have signed Rodrigo and Falenzi, letting Welbeck and Hector Bellerin go. We have received some offers for the likes of Neves, but there's no way in hell I'm going to be uh, selling him any time soon. We got a pretty couple of big offers for him. 26 from Inter, around right about 23 from Chelsea. AC Milan even came in for him as well. Matt Hummels has left Bayern Munich for 70 million pounds. And uh, I was trying to slightly upgrade my goalkeeper here in the final day, trying to get the likes of Ruli, Real Sociedad, former, of course, Manchester City uh, signing and Ariola as uh, as well just to get a little bit of an upgrade on Patricio he's a good goalkeeper he's a good career mode goalkeeper but if you can get an upgrade on him there's no harm in trying unfortunately guys it is time to end the video here thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're not enjoying the series feel free to leave a dislike check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me facebook twitter and instagram all in the description below highly recommend twitter every single time i post a video a tweet goes out it's much more reliable than the youtube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel you have to click subscribe of course and the bell to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments if you guys want 
want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games. Maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team or maybe just some games. I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G2A. There's some really good prices, so even just going looking around, to be honest. Anyway, uh, the Patreon Stinger there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name has been Simsy. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.